All right, here we go. Let's go downstairs. We've got dinosaurs. Oh, this oh. is actually a dinosaur. I don't know if we could touch And it. this is a, a cousin of Triceratops, or maybe it's Triceratops itself. I, I don't know. That is so big. It is. Let's go down here to the end. This will be fun. Whoa, what, what do you think this is? A T-Vet. Oh, it is. Okay, awesome. I love it. I didn't know that. I know a lot about dinosaurs. And look at this thing. It's kind of shiny. Petrified wood. Whoa, what do you think this is? It's a stump, but it's a little different than the stump you've seen in the forest or the park, right? What is it? It's a fossilized stump from about 200 million years ago. What the heck? And it's now made up of tiny crystals of quartz that are so small you can't see them with your naked eye. That's the same stuff that glass is made out of. How does it petrify? How did it get that way? So with trees like this, the way it becomes petrified is that the tree has to get buried before it decays and decomposes. And then if there's a lot of silica, which is the element in quartz or glass, in the, in the groundwater there, it'll oftentimes get attracted to the decaying tree. Little bacteria, which are like single-celled organisms will start eating the plant's tissues and the silica will come in and replace the tissues behind it so you can see all the tree rings and the cells of the plants. Wow. 